Welcome back to Flying Smoke. Today we're going to do a product review. Uh, somebody got a hold of me on my Facebook page for Flying Smoke and said, hey, I got a product. You ever heard of it? And I obviously, well, I was like, yeah, heard of it. Uh, his name is Dennis Shewitt and he's with Cornhusker Kitchen out of Nebraska. And he has a product called Duck Fat. The reason I said I'd heard of it is because competition steak world, duck fat is getting really popular. A lot of times some of the other cooking sprays can sort of have a fishy smell to them. Honestly, I don't know what that's about, but duck fat is that. It's duck fat in a can, pure and natural, rendered duck fat. Uh, you can hear the, let me see if I can get it to thud. There it is, a little bit. There. Basically, uh, if you read the website, it is just a bag of rendered duck fat that is put inside of an aerosol can and then they compress some air and that's what's the propellant, it, liquefied duck fat. And this stuff is the stuff that the gourmet chefs of all over the world are using because it is just so good. Fat is flavor and duck fat is flavor. Tonight we're gonna use it on hamburgers and Probably give you a couple brioche buns, maybe some feta cheese if you're lucky, and for me, fried egg on top. Y'all stay tuned. All right, dinner at the Poland house. What's it look like? It comes and goes and I'm wearing my mini pot mafia shirt because it's kind of apropos. I don't even know if that's correct use of the word. All right, so we have a typical product you use in your household all the time. And we have two more typical products. Well, the way we use them anyway, pink Himalayan and uh, pepper. We normally grind them, but there are alternatives out there. For instance, this stuff's got canola oil, and let me put my glasses on so I can read it. Canola oil, palm oil, coconut oil, less than uh, from soybeans, nonstick, something or other, dimethicol silicone for propellant, rosemary extracts. It's got a whole bunch of stuff on it. It's pretty standard stuff, Pam. What if you wanted to use a natural product? The creator, uh, Mr. Dennis Shewitt, uh, from Cornhusker Kitchen, came up with duck fat. And he sent me some to try it. And I told him, I've already tried it, it's very big on the steak cooking circuit, but for you folks that don't use this a lot, um, let me talk to you about it. I'm gonna read the front of it. Naturally gluten-free, 40% less saturated fat than butter, no added preservatives, no artificial ingredients, GMO-free. Honestly, I'd have to look it up because I don't even know what GMO is. Uh, okay, this stuff's made in the United States. Now, this is the best part about it. I don't know if you can see that, Michelle. Can you see that? Ingredients. Duck fat. <laughs> That's it. Most duck fat, the, the cool stuff about, or the cool thing about this stuff is most times you get duck fat on oh, Amazon, cooking stores, high dollar stuff, whatever. You see the cooks using it. It's... It's in a jar and you have to use a spoon or whatever and it's inconvenient and it's like, ugh. It tastes great and it's great stuff, but this stuff, in a can. Basically, Dennis explained this to me and I've read about it on the internet. What it is, is inside there's a, a bag of pure duck fat. And then they put the bag inside the can, compressed air goes inside, that's the propellant, it's pressurized air. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use it just like like you would Pam, but you don't have all this stuff that I don't know what it is. Pam's not necessarily so bad for you, but this is duck fat. That's going to taste better. So I've got, oh boy, I forgot to look those up. We're just going to call those rolls. And I got those with a little garlic and a little bit of chive and a little bit of feta cheese. That's going to go in the oven, but I don't want anything to stick. So we're going to, you can get this. We're just going to spray it. Spray the duck fat. No stick. Now this is where we're gonna cook our 80-20 burgers. It's a cast iron skillet. We're gonna to top them with 
uh, chopped shallots and chopped jalapeno. And since Michelle doesn't eat them, I'm gonna have a fried egg on mine. And I made a really good, sort of like a white barbecue sauce to go on top of it. But I want the pan to be nonstick. So I'm gonna coat the inside of it with duck fat. Good spank. Now we're gonna start cooking. I'm using simple 80-20. Now we also use substitutes for salt and pepper. Of course, not out white lightning. It's got all the good stuff in it. These are gonna be simple burgers. Duck fat's in here. Put the burgers in. So that's just this duck fat in there. I'm gonna put a little white lightning on top. A little white coat. We got feta cheese crumbles, and I'm also gonna use this new stuff I bought, creamy Havarti. It's really creamy cheese. You wanna try it? That's the benefit. That's the benefit of cooking. Try it while you cook it. The sauce I made, it's pretty simple. It is, it's pretty exotic. Are you ready? Buttermilk dressing, a little bit of vinegar, Parmesan cheese, and a little bit of honey. It's kind of like a white barbecue sauce. Anyway, I also want to address one other thing while we're at it. I've seen a million ways that people talk about, well, the temperature of the burger, you know, if you push this finger here and it's that. Uh, okay. Go to thermworks.com, get a thermometer. I have, I have several of these things. I got a, you don't want to spend uh, 90 bucks for the, uh, the Mark IV, the M, uh, you can get a Thermoworks little pop, looks like a little lollipop, like 30 bucks. It's five to six second read, which is fine for in here. This is a one second read. We use this in cooking competitions. All right. Excuse me, dear. Excuse me, dear. Hot pan, thank you. A little bit of white lightning. That's it. Now we're just cooking the temperature. And we'll come back when we're gonna finish them up. All right, check the internals. 167, we'll just hit temperatures. And you just put a little shallot, a little shallot, a little shallot, a little shallot. In case you don't know what shallot is, it's basically like <laughs> if an onion and garlic had a child. This is jalapeno. These here, so. Okay. I'll just put the part on that I really like. Fried egg. And we'll use this trash in here. Or white lightning. Yeah, I don't have to reach for all this stuff. Salt, pepper, garlic, and it's already in there. So that's why we use. That's, that's why we use so much of it. And since these are for me and not for Michelle, a little bit of jalapeno on top. And a little more shallow. Duck fat. Cut the pan all nice and dirty. I've used the duck fat before, and I'll probably shoot a steak video on it here pretty quick. But one thing I noticed about it is it makes everything real shimmery. It has a sheen to it. It's really good. All right, so there's enough heat in this pan to cook eggs for the next week and a half. I'm going to shut the power off. Shut this off so you don't have to listen to the fan. When the eggs are done, they go on top, boom. So we're gonna go ahead and dress it up a little bit. Again, this is like a white barbecue sauce. I never said they're gonna be not messy. <laughs> I never agreed to that. And then for mine, fried egg. While it's still hot, Push your salt. 
kosher salt, paper towel, set of towels. And grab some old this one. Key is to do it while well, it's hot. And now you gotta see it, because everybody's always wanting to see it, because food looks good, and it's supposed to look good, yay. That's supposed to taste good too. I'm doing no carbs, but I had to try it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Crunch of the bread, creaminess of the egg, creaminess of the cheese. I'm even getting a little shallot too. But the jalapeno is not burning because, like I said, I veined them and seeded them. Again, all we use is duck fat instead of pan. The neat thing is, when you shake it, you can hear it. There's a bag of duck fat inside of it. It's not stuff like pan, which is a liquid propane, blah, 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 who knows what. The ingredients, look it up online, duck fat. And the dogs must think that there's dinner because they're starting to invade our space. We'll follow up later. All right, final thoughts. Duck fat, two thumbs way up. The hamburgers were awesome. The cheese melted great. The buns got a little golden brown. They didn't, nothing, nothing was sticking. And I used cast iron skillet. So challenge number one or whatever you want to call it. Duck fat, two thumbs way up by both Michelle and I. Um, we're going to do a couple more videos. One, of course, obviously we're going to do a steak cook when the weather cooperates. But we are, it's December here in Tennessee. And we're also going to do some just basic household stuff and take some inspiration from the website. Uh, you can use it on a lot of different things. Anything you would use spray, spray oil for, cooking oil, whatever you want to call it. And it will enhance flavor because there's something... I looked this up, atavistic about eating fat. It is, your body knows it. And it, when, it, when it hits the tongue, it, there's something that ignites in your brain. That's why ribs taste so good. Ribs are sort of a cheap meat. It used to be the throwaway meat. If you cook it right, you cook all the water out of it, and you just left with the collagen fat and gelatin, your brain knows that. That's why ribs are just lip smacking good. And that's why duck fat is, well, and duck too, <laughs> turkey, bear, whatever. So anyway, if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to the channel. It lets us help, you know, it lets us know that you're part of the family and it helps us put out videos. You can ring the bell and you can get notifications when we get new ones out. And I, again, I apologize, but this time of the year, it's hard to get videos out. We've got a lot of stuff going on with Christmas and somebody's got a birthday coming up it's not me so we'll see you soon and if i haven't said this before i want to say it again michelle and i want to wish you all a merry christmas and a happy new year take care